we will see. All right, what I want to do is show you guys how to find a functional relationship and to determine if it's a, if you have a functional relationship between two sets, A and B. So our set A is just a set of letters and B is going to be a uh, set of numbers. Now, to determine if it's a functional relationship, what they have is they have a set of ordered pairs. Now remember, one thing to remember with a set of ordered pairs is we have an input and we have an output. If you remember from my overview, we did their two sets, set A and set B, and remember we had the input relationship to the output relationship. Now there's a couple things to remember if it, to, to determine if it was a, uh, to determine if it's a uh, functional relationship. First thing is everything in set A has to map to everything or something in set B. So first thing we look at, does is A map to something? Yes. Does B map to something? Yes. Does C map to something? Yes. Then the next thing that we needed to look out for to determine if it was a functional relationship was if everything that they mapped to was unique. And what we look over here is we notice that A maps to one, which is unique. However, C maps to two and C maps to three. So therefore, that is not a unique relationship because C maps to two different um, output values. So therefore, this is not a function. Over um, for letter B, again, we just go ahead and check, make sure everything in set A maps to everything in set B. So you see A maps to one, B maps to two, and C maps to three. Then are those all unique relationships? And you can obviously see that yes, every single one of those is unique, so therefore this is a function. Then we get a little tricky uh, with this one. And this is a function relationship, as you can see between just a set of ordered pairs, it is a functional relationship. However, we're only asking is this a relationship from set A to set B? And what we did is we actually switched the order pairs. So therefore, set A is now not the input variable. Set A is now the output variable, correct? So now this would actually not be a function. So just a quick reminder, you always have to have everything in set A as your input values. All goes to um, a unique value in your output values. You can have extra in the output values and you can have um, the same input values or different input values go to the same output values, but uh, you cannot, they all have to be a unique relationship. So that is uh, how you determine if it's a function relationship.